Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. And if you are new here, my name is Yvonne. You're on Ginger Chick Rehab. Yes, in today's video, I am working with some of the new releases put out by IOD. Oh my goodness, y'all. They are just absolutely amazing. If you are new to our channel, yes, I love to take secondhand items and make them over. And working with the IOD items, oh my goodness. Yes, you can transfer a secondhand find from a thrift store, auction, a garage sale, and transform it into some beautiful, amazing home decor. But make sure you stay to the end of the video because I have a surprise for you all. So my vision had me backing these beautiful transfers up with some type of a paper, but I just didn't see anything in my stash of decoupage papers that was speaking to me. So I'm going to create my own by using a piece of thick cardstock and instant coffee, yep, in a spray bottle. And I am going to make my own aged paper. So first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and just spray it down. I just have like a couple spoonfuls of coffee, instant coffee inside um, the spray bottle with just water. And then now I'm just going to take a spoon and just sprinkle on while the paper is still wet and it'll give it that nice aged spots adding some more water. And then what I do then is I'm going to transfer, um, transport this to a board so I can kind of guide my liquid around a little bit, making sure that all my paper is covered. I just let my piece of papers dry overnight. I've seen where you can bake them in your oven at a lo low temperature, but I knew that I already knew that I wanted to do this process, so I just let them dry overnight. And of course, a wet piece of paper likes to roll, so I'm just taking some parchment paper and a no steam iron to iron my paper back down. And I have hoarded on these little windows. I think they probably came out of a door. I just absolutely was drawn to them when I saw them at a garage sale for a buck or two. I can't even remember now. It was the summer. But I absolutely think that they're gorgeous. So they're old. They're dirty. <laughs> they even got dirtier just sitting around our shop. But I need to get them taken apart. I like the thought that they can just sit on a shelf. So yeah, flathead screwdriver <laughs> to take the backing off. And I actually have made over one of these windows before and it absolutely turned out gorgeous. So when I ran across another product that I could use these windows for, oh, my heart was just a fluttering. But I do have some cleaning up to do. They have some caulk, they have just years of dirt. So I'm gonna go ahead and get them cleaned off and I'm gonna get that caulk scraped off of them. And though I'm a fan of the aged patina, I'm not necessarily a fan of a dirt patina with little bug droppings still on. No matter how much you scrubbed, you just could not get that off. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a fresh coat of paint. Now, when it comes to this transfer book, everybody's vision is different. So is your vision to use the whole page on one project and transfer it all? Or do you have the same vision that I do where I just want to cut up individual pieces to place it on my glass? I know doing it this way for me, I can get multiple projects out of just one sheet. So I just kind of picked out similar mushrooms that were pleasing to my eye. I love the actual wording. There's numbers with the mushrooms to tell you what they are, though I can't really read what the wording is. So actually I'm going to half it in between my two sheets. So you see the one I kind of stuck with some red topped and the other one I stuck with some brown topped. So now I'm just going to cut, <laughs> cut, that's always the nerving, cut that little wording in half to be able to use it on both sheets. Now I didn't have any 12 by 12 cardstock on hand. I only had the regular sheets. So my paper does not fill up that whole 
clear window area. So all I'm going to do is go ahead and take a little bit of water. And I know I already just age distressed the paper, but it is what it is. So I'm just taking some water to be able to make some jagged edges. And I should be able to um, reactivate some of that coffee or add a little bit more of the coffee that I have left over to give it back the age because, you know, cardstock is thicker. So you're kind of just tearing off layers of the paper. Now, I don't want to reactivate my coffee anymore by putting the Mod Podge on top of the paper. So I'm actually going to put the Mod Podge on top of the glass. <laughs> I just used a balled up strand ramp to make sure that everything was smoothed down because once you add liquid to that paper, it would want to start to lift. So immediately I got the I got a towel to place underneath it to help it lay flat that it wasn't going to adhere to the to my working area. So now I'm laying this out the way that I want it, and I'm like, oh, I think I'm going to change my original thought, and I'm going to need another mushroom. If you have not worked with transfers before, once you take off that white paper, the image itself on the one side is sticky. So you want to make sure you have it in place because once it starts grabbing on a product, it um, could stay down there or it will stay down there and you could tear that the image is all one continuous image. So now what I'm doing is I'm taking the rubbing tool that comes in the transfer package and very gingerly starting to rub it um onto the glass so and then once i get it enough started that it is starting to adhere to the glass i'll take one um, portion of the plastic and i'll start very slowly lifting it up and you can kind of see where it's becoming stuck to the the surface area because it'll what was clear is now cloudy so you know that it is adhered to your surface Now I need to seal my transfers in. They are on the outer of the glass. So to seal them in, all I'm using is some natural clear wax. And I'm just running it along the transfer itself. And the nice thing about the natural wax is it'll stay on because it soaks into that transfer, hopefully making it pretty permanent. It's just a damp cloth dust on these, y'all. And that I can take my Norwex cloth and wipe off any extra of the wax off the glass. Now that my, I only did one coat of paint, y'all, that is dry. So now I'm going to go back in and I want to distress this. This is an old window. I wanted to make it look like an old window, but I like it to be clean. So I'm just taking some 220 sandpaper and then just kind of aggressively hitting all the sharp, sharp edges and going down to that beautiful aged wood. So if you really like the 2D, 2D effect that the decoupage with the transfers gives on that old window, 
you don't necessarily always have to like run out to the thrift store to a garage sale trying to find something that is a needle in a haystack <laughs> but there are options so i actually picked up these two frames at a joann's they just happen to be on the clearance section and they are some double glassed frames and they are beautiful and we can make them look old and vintage just like those windows so after removing the 101 stickers that were on them for some reason <laughs> And now I just have the frame. So I want to make this look like old chippy paint on these new frames. So I'm just taking a little Voto candle wax and I'm just running it across the entire frame. I don't have to worry about the inside because how I'm going to finish this, you're not going to see the inside. I just need to run the wax on the parts that I know you're going to be seeing. After I get the candle wax on both of the frames, I don't waste any time. I dip my paintbrush in. I get a lot of paint on my brush and I'm using some Color Fusion Victorian Lace. It's a beautiful white, y'all. And I'm putting a heavy amount, trying to work in one direction. I'm trying not to pull off that candle wax. This is actually a one coat coverage process. So for my next step for my decoupage paper that I'm going to use, I'm actually going to copy an image off of something I have saved. And as you see, it's a free printable. So I'm going to copy the image and then I'm going to go to my Excel program. I'm going to go ahead and paste it. And then I'm going to size it a little bit smaller to fit into that frame. Then I'm just going to print this out on regular copy paper. This is just going to give this um, 2D effect a little bit different of a look, more of, a, more of a mixed media type of look. I'm going to that same beautiful transfer sheet. Oh my goodness, I love these butterflies and these moths but I need to go ahead and cut down my paper first. Now I'm just gonna cut off the excess white for right now. I don't wanna accidentally cut off too, <laughs> cut off too much. So I'm just gonna play it, play it safe to get it down to a more workable size to get these decoupaged, mod podged on the back of the glasses. Now you could have done this either way. You could put the glue on the glass or you could do what I'm doing here where I'm putting the Mod Podge right on top of the paper. Unlike the one that I aged with the instant coffee, I didn't want to reactivate the instant coffee. But I want to put it, on, for me, I want to put it on the paper itself. That way I can kind of drop the glass on and I still want to keep it centered to what my image is. that glued onto the glass I'm going to go through and try to pick out what butterflies and moths I want to use for both of these projects. Now my button paper I was positive I found two kind of similar butterflies the colors were similar they fit perfectly underneath that blank space same thing just like the mushrooms you are they are sticky it's nice because it really has a easy centering point here because the paper has a center point the butterfly has a center point so <laughs> as centering goes it's actually a not too bad I'm waiting to cut off the excess until the paper's a little bit drier right now if I tried to cut off the excess it would just basically just rip but yep I just have to transfer these on now I will say um, this should have been just an easy transfer but I had problems with every corner last corner I did of the butterflies the tip of the wings so I don't know um, I I don't know why I cleaned my glass and so I thought well maybe it just wasn't adhering so I actually did take a little bit of rubbing alcohol on my next project but I don't know why I was having problems with just the last tip 
if it was just the transfer itself. So, you know, don't just think that, oh, I'm almost done and I can just pull that clear paper off. Don't do that because it's really hard to match your transfer back up. And if you wrinkle it, because these transfers are all one image. Um, so I just had to work very gingerly to get that last little wing area down for some reason. I actually just ended up switching over to a spackling and metal file to, and then really pushing it, hoping not to break the glass to get it to adhere. I'm always going to share my struggles with y'all because I do not want you to think that every project, I have never had a project turn out without at least a few struggles during the project, y'all. So now, now that my paper's pretty much dry, I'm going to go ahead and just take scissors and cut off that excess. And then we're going to go ahead and the same thing with these transfers. I need to seal them in with some clear wax and then get that extra wax off the top of the glass, but these actually will be encased with another piece of glass. But before I can put them back together, I have a little bit of work to do. So now I'm just taking my Pemper Chef scraper. <laughs> you know, those brown scrapers a lot of us have laying around. I use it a lot in the shop. And I'm just scraping off all that wax. And I did it on the entire frame, all that wax, because I really wanted to have a nice chippy look. And the wood on this looks like that old barn wood. And I think it's absolutely going to be gorgeous. So yes, in today's giveaway, I am giving away one of the Millet's Page Transfers by IOD. So make sure that you're subscribed to my channel, you comment down below, you use the hashtag Ginger Chick Rehab that I'm sharing with you on the screen. It's got to be that hashtag, y'all. And the way it's spelled is the way that it has to be spelled in the comments below. But make sure you're subscribed, and I hope that you enter. So thank you all for watching today's video, and what did you think? Oh my goodness, yes. Taking those secondhand door windows? We're gonna, th I'm thinking that they were door windows, but they were just an absolutely amazing salvaged piece. But I also showed you an item that you could buy if you can't find that type of salvaged in your area. I, salvaged pieces are kind of hard to come by. So yes, you can actually go to a, go and buy like a shadow box type of frame, a double pane glass frame, and you can still create these beautiful items. Your world, oh my gosh, there's so many pages, there's so many options with these transfers. So down below, I will link um, the Painted Heirloom. That's where I get all my IOD items from. So let me know down in the comments below, have I inspired you? Want to look at secondhand finds in a new way? And has the IOD line spiked your interest? So again, thanks for watching guys, and we will see you next time, and you can see what we're up to. Bye.